This is a HeadGum Original. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're all recording. We're all set up just fine. Amir, you couldn't have come up with a better background. Look at Billy. He has the crown molding. He has the detailing on the wall. Not a lot of art, which I don't appreciate. He could have put up a poster or five. Okay, there you go. Goodfellas or? No. Is it is it when you finish saving the world? It is. No, it's, um, I, I don't, this is actually my prized possession. I, I f- it feels like too early to talk about. I don't really want to talk. Let's talk about it after the it's break, I guess. Rocket. This is so yeah. fucked up. It's the original bottle rocket poster, which I, didn't you pay like a thousand dollars for that? I don't want to, I don't want to talk about it more. But it was when, over $500, right? Yeah. Could, more. Than and then it, when yeah. it got there, you immediately regretted it. I remember you texted. Me. No, I didn't regret it at all. It's a, it's a, I, it's not, it's, it's my small, 11 by 17. It's, Fine, I'll talk about it because you guys keep bringing it up. Um, you thought it'd be bigger. It's the it's the poster from the Bottle Rocket short film that they made when they went to Sundance in 1994, and they yeah. put it up all around Park City or whatever the fuck. Um, Topical. And uh, and then the graphic designer who made it like kept one and then sold it off a few years ago, and I, I got yeah. it. I was looking for. It and for, like, what 10 the years. audience doesn't know is that when you flip the camera around. It's the posters on the wall are Ghostbusters Afterlife, <laughs> Hell of a Summer, When You Finish Saving the World, Crisis, which is a deep mm-hmm. cut, mm-hmm. Hell for Loser. Get off of my IMDb. Yeah, and Winona Earp. My, yeah. Winona Earp. Winona Earp. Yes, Winona yeah. Earp. E A R P. Winona. Okay. It's a TV show that's named after a printer company. Not true. The Zoom really? is kind of broken up right now into like Wes Anderson themed yep. side, nice. and then also uh, and then Billy and Amir. Jeff, no Jeff in his kitchen and Amir with an also bad background. Yeah, this it's background's hard. fine. Yeah, I sold my sure. table. I'm in the process of moving house. Again, Slash moving for what out. is this? The fifth time. This in? has got to be six times in six years. Yeah. Six and a half if you count me living at home for the pandemic. Yeah, and we do. Yeah. Where this show was incubated into what it has become, which is sort of an op-ed. It's sort of a late night talk show. It's it's a rotating door featuring the most important podcasters at the network. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Here's what we're going to do today. Have you guys heard of food diaries? Uh, I love them. Like you have a list of what you ate. Okay, brag. Amir's <laughs> yeah, studied up. <laughs> I know, I'm guessing. So yeah, it's like mood. It's like a, it's it's where you like write out what you had for like breakfast, lunch, snack, and dinner, and fourth meal. Um, well, today we're going to do mood diaries. So that, that's just a diary. <laughs> <laughs> Can we let me fucking finish or You're is saying. it the Marika hour? It kind of always is. I heard a cat. Yeah. yeah. It's, yes, Misty, I'm recording. Mood diaries are like food diaries. Only instead of listing out what you ate, you list out how you felt. So this is sort of a side quest that I'm bequeathing to you fuckers. For the next 45, you guys are going to list four to five mood diary entries. Things you felt, you know, thoughts you had to swallow instead of say. And then we'll read them out at the end of the day. So not we're not doing it in the moment. <laughs> we're doing it at the You're end of the You're writing it in the moment. You okay. are writing it in the moment. You're going to read it out at the end. Gotcha. I, three Do to six mood diary or? entries. Three to six now? Yeah, because it's, it's the five. same. It was four to five it's, a minute ago. I changed it to three to six because that's the same amount of months that the neurologist told me this morning that it's going to take me to feel 100%. For the concussion? Yes, the post-concussive syndrome, which I was diagnosed with formally this morning. To have. Because you're still feeling it? Because I'm, my cognition is slowed. 
Everything is yeah. five times more fatiguing than it should be. Three to yeah. six times more fatiguing, let's say. Yeah. And I and was he wondering to stand for this entire episode because it engages the core, and I don't have a chair. You sold your chair too. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we thought I'm it was off. only the table. Well, it was it was the whole set. If it was a chair, I'd be sitting there. Okay. Three to six diary entries for the mood diary throughout the episode. Time this stamped? is on your gut. I don't interrupt y'all. Three to six mood diary entries, time stamped or otherwise. Dealers so slash not. Sophie's choice, but you do have to point out when it happened. <laughs> <laughs> just, it doesn't have to be so formal as timestamps. It could just be, oh, when you said this, I was feeling X, Y, Z. And maybe I see Billy writing down one right now. Maybe that's going to be one of his mood diary entries. Are we clear? Can we move on? Because we've barely started. Okay. So you want us to write while we record? Yeah, like just jot down. I wouldn't say like write a whole fucking diary entry. Yes, you are telling us. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying like I just a fucking by entry. I mean like a bullet point, three to six bullet points of uh, What's what you felt during the episode. Okay. <laughs> Where's your we, new place? It's in. Is it like up there where it's kind of like windy and steep? Is it like is right it like next a little... to it? Is it? Yeah, it's, is it? It's not really. It's barely an. More like an. But yeah, is it next to it? Yeah, it's kind of next to it. Yeah. I imagine According- like a. Like going through. I imagine it. A- this is hard because I'm not even going to be able to bleep this. It's Why? hyper specific. And it's like, it can't be like, oh, this is the neighborhood I live in. Beep. It's like, I live next to. I live next to. The, which don't say that. Sierra Madre. You're telling people, though, you're giving these little breadcrumbs to people. Then you're getting mad at us for commenting on them. We actually it's not a very a secure location. Joke. I mean, you think Amir's house is accessible. I wouldn't put that in either. According to the Hollywood Reporter, Soho House is in decline. I saw Riddle that. Me- I okay, go on. <laughs> Can you guys riddle me this? Why are stars not flocking to the once hot spot? You got I a membership TikTok that in the last eighteen it. months, right, Jeff? <laughs> well, <laughs> what's that? You got a, you membership, got a membership in the last 18 months? I had a membership months? when I was writing for Carpool Karaoke. You said last eight, 18 months. This was three years ago. This was four years ago. 2020. How much did it cost you? $2,000 a year. You're not great with money, are you? I'm not. But Carpool, I was being paid three grand a week. So one week of work, I'm already in a surplus from the Soho House membership. Or you could have just had $2,000. And that's where home. I went wrong. <laughs> that's where Did I you went ever wrong. go? I had drinks there, I want to say thrice. <laughs> so how many months? Yeah, how many months did you have the membership? I had it for a year. I did have it for a year. <laughs> so it ultimately ended up being, yeah, like kind of a $660 <laughs> cover each time. But if you're under 30, <laughs> food is half off. <laughs> And then, was it even open during the pandemic? I know gyms closed. I know Soho House closed. So did they refund you? I canceled my membership after a year because I was like, I don't go enough. A 114-year-old Texan is the oldest person in the United States. If you guys lived that long, how would you spend your extra years? Bad? Yeah. Billy, would you sort of wank it? Would you sort of have that? I don't know if sort I'd of want crank to that shaft mind. until you were, you know, returned to dust. I don't know if I could be. I guess cranking my shaft at 114 that would be pretty remarkable. Um, yeah, but yeah, because of the age or the age, yeah. exclusively because of the age. Right. I feel like you guys are like still trying to get your you know wits about you in this episode you haven't found solid footing and i don't think you just it's couldn't I, have done the dishes before we started recording jeff you have you have your yeah. kitchen is filthy and i just i don't like 
this the view of me like towering over you it's really disarming it's just kind of like you're looking at up, up at us constantly for praise where is your com- where is your computer it has to be on it's a really on high fridge. shelf it's on, on top fridge. of the fridge on top Would of the fridge would you rather i look down at you guys can you put your computer Maybe. in the fridge and then close the fridge and then do that angle where you like open a fridge and look for stuff and then close it yeah, that's a good idea. So, I don't know if you're trying to sabotage the episode or if you're fine with us having good content. <laughs> I appreciate the effort, I guess. Yeah. Is your garbage lid not closed properly? Take out the trash. Yeah. People are horny for Austin Butler's Dune Part 2 character. I guess my question is, when? I have things to say about this. I knew you <laughs> would, that's why I brought it up. I think he should have been hotter. <laughs> Um, I still haven't seen it yet. I'm excited. I'm going to see it in like five days. So I, uh, you guys can talk about it. I just won't be able to contribute. Uh, I my only, my only take was that I think they should have made him a little hotter. How do you make him hotter? <laughs> What's the, what do you His, do? Like well, hire somebody else? <laughs> is that, are you saying he's the hottest he could ever be? Well, Anyone saying, could ever like, be? Or are you like, <laughs> like, how did they not make him hotter? How would you I suggest think, that they do that? I think one of the main problems was that he couldn't shave his head so that he he was wearing a, a bald cap over his you're, hair you're and he looked like mega mind. Tell, yeah, because the hair is bunched up under the cap. Well, it it was just like big. And I was like, if it was mm. like a little more to size, I think this would work. So what really are you saying? Well. Your wish that his bald I think head he had looked been to like size? Mega Mind in some shots, mm. and I would have preferred not that. Okay, Amir, <laughs> I didn't see Dune. <laughs> well, what about I, Dune Two? I was gonna say, yeah, I've seen Dune Two three times. Yeah, it's awesome. I didn't quite <laughs> get it, but I thought Austin Butler was a four <laughs> out, out of, of ten. Four. Oh, nice. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Um, uh, we didn't really talk about the Soho house, but I did see a TikTok about it saying that they went public and then opened their floodgates so that they got a lot more people there. So it became less it's not exclusive. exclusive. Yeah. If you want that exclusivity, you're going to want to get a referral to the San Vicente bungalows. You're going to want to get into the Knickerbocker Club. Marika style. Billy. I just hate. How much you want to be a part of these clubs? <laughs> I beg. Like, I, I beg to be on room. the podcast. Billy said, "Are you recording this week? And can I be a guest?" I said, "I would I love to have you." I said, "I, I bring you on the Zoom, and you sit there, fucking unmarkedly excited." <laughs> unmarkedly, he is excited, but you can't tell. That's what I'm picking a bone with. Okay, what time okay. is it? Hey, decorate your apartment. <laughs> Enjoy the show. Jeff got tapped by the Phoenix Club, actually. (laughs) (laughs) Have you guys seen these um, Willy Wonka experience photos? Yeah, what what was that? Because I just keep seeing people talk about it, but I don't know what it it was. Where did it come from? It seemed like a Firefest situation. It was a... Yeah, you can explain. The creator said... (laughs) So, yeah, there was this failed Willy Wonka pop-up experience, and the creator of it said, and this is a quote, it all looked good on paper. (laughs) It was advertised with a bunch of AI-generated images that made it it. look really cool. But Yeah, this is what it was was, advertised with. Yeah. (laughs) But people thought that's what they were going to get? Well, there's also, there's even more... AI images that are so like clearly fucked up, like the words aren't correct because it generated them. Like That's it's really fun. sad that people got tricked by it. This is but- something Cohen would put together. What? <laughs> Nothing. Uh, I'm trying were- to be like topical and act like I go into the office. Yeah, I don't yeah. even know who works at the fucking company anymore. Yeah, you did. Everybody send a keeps Slack getting married. Everyone saying, at, Can begging I have a for an org picture chart. Picture of an org chart. Yeah. No one What's, fucking sent it, by the way. I don't even know if we have that. Right? And everybody keeps getting married. Their maiden names are going to their fucking partners That's and true. vice versa. And I'm like, oh, new employee. Just kidding. That's Angie. 
Yeah, Angie to Arkland now. She just has that post nup drip. Or post nuptial yeah. drip. Yeah. Yeah, we got it. Yeah. Sorry, she's trying Jesus to Jesus Christ. I feel like I'm watching a really boring episode of Big Brother or something. <laughs> Can I just check in? How many mood diary points have you guys all entered? Because we're about to hit the halfway point. I want to make sure you're on page. I have two. I have two as well. Amir? I'm not doing that. <laughs> you have to. Otherwise, I don't the diary is fucking not mood. It's moot. <laughs> you want the diary to be moot along with the point? I mean, I'll remember how I feel, which is how I always feel when I'm doing these. So much dead air. Do we think there's <laughs> only, like a sound effect? Or... Yeah. I can't hear if there's like a soundboard thing happening. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. You know, if you had an extra hour in your day, a lot of people would spend that very differently than the one sitting next to them. Maybe person A would go for a run. Person B would take a nap, and patient zero would read a book. The point is, a lot of us spend our time and our lives wishing we had more hours in the day. And the question is, what is that time for? And if time was unlimited, how would you use it? The best way to squeeze that special thing into your schedule is to know what's important to you and make it a priority thus. Therapy can help you find what matters to you so you can do more of it. I'm in therapy every week and I benefit from it personally uh, as I pursue to better myself and be a better version of myself today than I was yesterday. Yesterday, you said tomorrow, so just therapy. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. Learn to make time for what makes you happy with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash What's That today to get 10% off your first month. Again, that's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash What's That. Thanks, BetterHelp. Welcome to March Madness Headgum Company Edition. Um, Has to be illegal, right? This is a bracket customized by my ass to guess who's going to come out on top this March in regards to Headgum. What do you mean? What, like who's going to come out on top? What does in that mean? In terms of productivity, I was going to get to that. You guys cut okay. me off and jumped down my throat before I got to introduce the segment. Headgum Podcast Edition, March Madness Edition. Is this the entire bracket or just a quarter of it? This is just part of it. It's every. Oh my god! Yeah. So how does the seating work? The seating is alphabetical people. slash random. <laughs> There's people here that don't work at the company. There's 1099s because otherwise yeah. I wouldn't be able to be. In the bracket. So you're a 20 seed? <laughs> it's alphabetical. <laughs> you really think Angie's a nine seed? I mean, of course I feel bad it's ranking random. anybody. Yeah. We're going to go through. We're going to put uh, put together our best uh, March Madness bracket together. And then in the description of this video, I'm going to link this bracket so that the listeners can create their own bracket thus, including Billy. I'm not going to listen to this when it comes out. <laughs> what the 
fuck is this? I put a bunch of time and energy into this shit. You put a lot of time. I put the time and energy into other shit. <laughs> what are you talking about? Effort like is effort. Finding a new table or <laughs> the new a place doesn't have space for a table. There's gonna be a kitchen island. That's it. So the living room's completely empty right now. You could be on the floor. I don't have a living room. I live in. Uh, this is my studio apartment. I'm moving in two weeks. Got it. So this is your old place. We're selling the furniture because the new place doesn't have space for a table. Got it. So you're you're going from a studio apartment to a house, <laughs> to a and the smaller. new place doesn't have room <laughs> for, for a the table. stuff that was furnishing your studio apartment. Because there was a, a nook before for a kitchen table. The new place doesn't have a fucking dining room. It One has bedroom. a living room, a bedroom, and a kitchen. That's it. <laughs> and That's don't say all. you can put a table in the living room. We wanted to have a sitting area. Yeah. Where are you going to eat? You, you're, you're, <laughs> There's a kitchen you're, counter. Uh, I'm, so I'm in a similar situation. It's a, that's a huge mistake. That's a huge mistake. <laughs> right now. Can we focus on the bracket? I don't have a bracket? table. I, no, enough I about the bracket. <laughs> I'm in this tiny little studio apartment. Yes, crown molding, whatever. Yes, nice poster, but there's no table. No one said nice poster. I said nice crown molding and that the poster was... I think was, the poster is nice. I thought, yeah, thank you. $1,000. Um, what? It costs more than a it costs more than a Soho House membership for a year, and that's not a joke. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and I wish it was. <laughs> and I wish it was a joke because I don't have that much money. Um, I don't have a ta- I just have a couch and a TV because I was like, I just want to watch movies in my apartment. And I have a bed or whatever and a desk. Yeah, crank but um, I hate I hate eating here, and it's such a, it's a thing I do. Yeah, but like, you live once. in Brooklyn. I know, but what do you? What does that mean? Go out to eat. Yeah, so you're, you, as you were saying, you're not in living in a, an area that's like walkable, so you should definitely have. Don't tell people. him to go out to eat. <laughs> go you're out for every meal. Money. <laughs> I never said my advice was good. I've been trying to fucking get us back into the, set, the bracket. Mm-hmm. So you don't for have like, a table at your new place? Or are you going to have a television? We might. So I have there's a, a potential for no table or no TV? We have a, I have a projector. You have a you rejector. Project- you have a rejector. <laughs> <laughs> There's the yeah, soundboard. Couldn't board. hear that. Couldn't hear it. You stopped sharing audio. March Madness had gum edition, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we can't Round hear the one. audio sound effects, by the way. Really? Yeah, you stopped sharing audio. <sighs> I'm not gonna know who almost anybody on this list is. Yeah. Also, so probably <laughs> and, uh, you want to rank based on round you one. Rank based on productivity <laughs> and other things. Because Riley's gonna be in Fiji for half the year, so she so loses round one. Unfair. It's March. I'm just Holy shit! What yeah. an upset. The one seed taken <laughs> out. Michelle Shim moving. F- Really? <laughs> Have we ever seen a, a 32 seed advance like that? <laughs> this sucks. Like, you have to do that much clicking just to move someone forward. It's Bracket HQ's website. The UX is all over the place. I had to create an account twice just to be able to fill out the bracket. You shouldn't have. All right. Matchup number Hill two. I got to go for John Grimm. Brad the Grim Reaper Hill. <laughs> so, <laughs> using so. John's last name. As a nickname for Brad? Do you even know what, what they do at the company? Yeah. You're somebody who's, it's like every, your, your entire friend group like watches NCAA basketball. You don't, but you're still filling out a bracket. Mm-hmm. So I kind of want to hear from so, Amir. Because Amir yeah. loves basketball. Yeah, but this has nothing to do with basketball. It's a bracket challenge. Right, <laughs> that could be anything. Yes. Marika loves the company. Marika I'm is the gonna, company. I'm not going to... Put people together Put like this. Brother. I can do it. I'm telling you, Brad, the Grim Reaper, Hild, beats yeah, I think Grim. We, eight out of I ten think times. we go with Billy's picks for That's all. That's fine. Yes. I just, I also want as we go for people to know who we're voting for. They know Brad. They don't really know Grim as much. Grim used to shoot the Jake and Amir videos. Now he what produces segments. Uh, he's uh, yeah. He edits our podcast, both audio right. and video. 
So Grimm's definitely out. Um, right. Yeah. I don't know if you've seen segments, I but uh, <laughs> I don't think so, Grimm. Why? It looks and sounds great. Uh, yeah, it sounds great. And the video frame looks good. It's the content. You're actually on this week's episode by the time this comes out. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> this is a must watch, ladies and gentlemen. Angie D'Arkland versus <laughs> Narissa Laddick. Marika, who do you like better personally? That's not what the bracket's about. <laughs> but How, another, yeah. another uh, loophole here is that Angie's on patern- or maternity leave. so It's not going to happen gonna for her. I'm sorry. This is a huge upset, upset but it's going to be Narissa to have. Um crazy march so far if we're looking at these seeds versus who moved on round one but it is single did i make a scene at your wedding kind (laughs) of really (laughs) i've been trying to figure out why you've been cold to me for months (laughs) yeah half a year because i was not complimentary about the blue suit because I said blue suede shoes was Elvis's idea. Well, you ranked my wedding the week it ended <laughs> and you gave it like a 22 out of 34 or something. Really yeah, bad. it's just it was in comparison to Jake's is all. You're right. Amelia Mariano <laughs> versus Will Conover. What are we thinking here in terms of single elimination round one? Are we taking the over or the Mariano? Here's what I'll say about Amelia. <laughs> I don't know anything about her. <laughs> she is the she is a producer, an associate producer of Doughboys. She so showed up to our Halloween party dressed as Ronald McDonald. Yeah. And I truly was like, I thought somebody had snuck into the studio. <laughs> but everyone was like cracking up. Treating her like a close friend while I was sort of being iced out in the corner and I thought, I'll have my revenge. Will Conover. Iced out in the corner. <laughs> uh, Dane Cardiel versus Ferris Monshi. Ferris also not a full-time employee. Uh, editor of Newcomers, the podcast. Jeff is on the floor. We're never going to get through this. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's more than one round. This is insane. Yeah. I thought we were just going to... I was like, all right, we're halfway I'm not through. the one holding us up. You guys You're aren't right fucking voting. Are Marika's abstaining because she's worried about her work relationships. You were on Do you think I've ever ground. cared about that? No. Dane Ferris. Cardiel versus Ferris Monchi. Ferris. Just All Ferris. right. Jesus. Ali Khan versus Emma Ern- Erdbrink. This is hard because they're both such hard workers. And Erdbrinkers. Yeah. <laughs> but Ali is also full time. Yeah. So Emma's maybe not. we go with Ali for this one. All right. Yeah. Emma. Um, this one's tough yeah, because I just go got Emma. word from Emma that she's going to be out of town for most of May. Right. And I would never do that. So I'm yeah, trying to figure out. March, this is the March bracket. So yeah. Emma. And it's going to be Emma. Emma. It's hard because I don't like For sure. At She's all. the one seed, too, basically. Yeah. Katie Moose versus Marika Brownlee. <laughs> wow. This is tough. Marika. Yeah. Okay. Yes. I guess Katie's least, not here to make her case. Yeah. And that's part of it is she never comes into work. Marika's nose to the grindstone, Union Square every fucking day. I don't know. I'm, Two very hard workers, so it's hard for me to like choose. But I guess since Marika is here, we'll give it to her. It's a no-brainer, is I think what you're saying. Between the two, if you had to fire one of them, it would be Katie. Is that what you're saying? Now, now here's a tough one. <laughs> me versus Pile. Holy <laughs> shit. How do you... Pi- okay, Micah versus Erica. What the <laughs> hell was that? <laughs> it was so quick. You Pyle's joined the Zoom on, but- four minutes late. You forced Anya to step away from what she was working on to set you up to record over Zoom. Something you did every day for two and a half fucking years. What are you talking about, you versus Pyle? Pyle built the tech platform that got you $10 million in VC funding. What do you have? 
periodontic rosacea? <laughs> I don't have that. <laughs> you Micah know versus I don't have Erica. That. Let's go Micah because um, I don't know Erica at all. Yeah. <laughs> it seems like you're afraid to pronounce her last name for sure. Jensen. Yep. Nailed it. Micah. All right. Joel versus Anya. <laughs> That's really Joel rough. Versus Anya. <laughs> <laughs> that's and Anya tough. saved the day before we started recording. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. true. I, nice this, yeah, I think I think this is Anya's month. I might have yeah. to put up a, a fight for Joel just in terms of uh, what. Honestly, if he had done this, I would have called Jola. If Joel was in charge of the studio, he would have painted the walls and off rust. AKA no. Cola, <laughs> AKA Jola Dunoff. We're going with Anya. We're, yeah, we're going with Anya. Anya Zero. Marty Michael versus Ryan Chambers. Mm. That's tough. Battle of the Small Talk. <laughs> I got to go with Ryan. The Small He's Talk? Taller. He's taller. He lives in Montauk. He's better at small talk. Is Ryan the tallest person at HeadGum? Let's just I think move so. on. Cohen versus Peter MacArthur. Oh, Two Frenchmen. Well, Peter lives in Peter, yeah. Fran- France currently, Correct. but Correct. neither of them are Frenchmen. Okay. Then it's got to go to Peter, right? Why? Well, you <laughs> I, feel like we need languages. I think we need so. at least one Amir in the second round. You're right. Um, so why don't you put Peter up there and then all I All right, can- yeah. Oh, that's all right. Gianna versus Casey. <laughs> but you, <laughs> what? So you didn't go back and change it? <laughs> I don't want to because I feel like Pyle built the tech platform that you got got you guys $10 million in VC right, funding. Right, heard your because case. You have sort of and that's a, one person's case. Yeah. And I don't have a gum disease, by the way. I didn't say <laughs> gum disease. gum disease. <laughs> you said you, I had periodontic rosacea. Okay. Yeah, that's a, Something that's that could be quickly cleared. <laughs> with intense pulse light therapy, <laughs> with a chine green, with a cola. Let's just go, Casey, because I will hear the end of it. What's that? I don't think he listens to this. What's that? All right, Sage versus Jake. <laughs> it's got to be Sage. Sage is like countlessly editing social clips versus Jake is just being social. You bet. <laughs> Yeah, Marika loved it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Jake is just being social is a great description. <laughs> Sam Massa, Nay Shackle versus Alex Berkman. <laughs> Whose mm. new last name is going to be Shackle. What? <laughs> yeah. Sam Massa, Nay Shackle Sam- versus Alex Shackle, Nay Berkman. <laughs> I got to, I mean, I love both of these fuckers, but I got to go Massa. <laughs> Why? I gotta go with my, my boy Shackle. It's gonna be my. It's gonna be Nay. <laughs> 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 All right, let's go rapid fire this round. Shim versus Hild. Bailey, what do you got? Shim. Shim. Laddick versus Will. <laughs> How do you say her last name? I don't know. I don't Billy! Think it's Laddick. Oh, it's me. You didn't say me. I thought maybe we were going to go each of us decide on one. I don't know why it always comes down to like, I'm not a fucking com- conductor of this shit. You guys have like agency. Hovering over Ladak or Ladak. So let's go <laughs> Khan Ladak. over. Yeah. Manshi versus Khan. But it's got to be Khan. Yeah. yeah. Emma versus Marika. Again, wow. I'm too knowing close, that Maria, Emma's going to be gone in May, I feel like I'm leaning Brownlee. Is she really going to be gone in May? <laughs> gone in May. Is, Pile versus she's Micah. She's traveling. Come on. Let's go Micah. We have the March. Okay. We have the March. Like, yeah, I feel we like do not have the choose, madness. <laughs> if you're going to have Micah, I feel like I could have won the first round. Definitely not. Just in and still like, be up against Micah? Because at least Jake is social. You think you would have won? You like show up to work and you hide in a corner, you hide in the office, you, cl- you close the door, but it is glass. I don't, I don't and have And you kind office, of like actually. peer out and you're like, no. Seeing who walks in. You make the guests uncomfortable. Here we go. Anya versus Chambers. It's going to be uh, Anya. Anya. Yeah. I think this Anya might be zero. Anya's year, I'll be honest. It I think it might be, be Anya's zero. Be. 
MacArthur Peter versus MacArthur. Donahue. Peter MacArthur. Really? That might yeah, be an it upset. Just, it's just such a historical sounding name. All right. You Sage versus I mean? Masa Neshackle. This is rough. I know. This one's I have tough. to abstain. Billy, you decide. All right. Uh, Sage. Holy shit. Classic. Wow. <clears throat> All right, Elite Eight hours. Left. What's that? You said Elite Eight hours? It's like scary hours. <laughs> Shit. <Shim. laughs> All right. Con versus Brownlee. This one's really tough. Marika. Uh-huh. Okay. Marika's going to the final four. Micah versus uh, Anya. Yeah. Obviously, oh, Anya. Yeah. Sage versus Peter MacArthur. This one's kind of French. <laughs> Anything he's no, in is so. kind of French. Sage MacArthur. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's go Sage. Okay, this is the final four is a little bit shocking. Brownlee, I assumed. Shim, I was shocked. Shackle not being there, I was shocked. Sage being there was not what I expected. Anya Kanevskaya in the final four zero style. Flash Dark 30. <laughs> <laughs> Anya versus Sage. What do you guys think? I don't know. Both help me a lot, so it's hard for me. Sage to helps me a lot. Anya helps me a lot. I will say that yeah. Sage is really quick with her social clips turnarounds. Anya didn't quite consider Chine Green. She didn't quite even sample a cola. She kind of just went <laughs> straight for charcoal. Didn't even sample more than one charcoal, by the way. Just bought the paint. That's crazy. Let's go, is Sage. <laughs> That's crazy. That's, so- That's crazy. Jim versus Brownlee. I mean, that's a no. It's a no Brownlee. It's got to be Marika, right? Now it's just so me I, voting. Now huh? I'm, yeah, I'm just you, Jeff. Put, put up against the one person on my team. The only person that you're directly in charge of. Yeah. <laughs> what are we thinking? Now that we can really get into the debate, uh, the hardest worker in March, which hasn't happened yet, was Marika or Sage? Yeah. Mm. I think I'm going to have to go with Marika, Sage Advice, Brownlee. <laughs> That's good. Because then it's kind of like we both won. No, mm-hmm. it'd be that you, you were okay with winning over an intern that you hired. I want to be very clear about what's happening. <laughs> really? She's a, a assistant, production assistant. Assistant to Mrs. Brownlee? Ms. Brownlee? <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> Sage. <laughs> She'll be thrilled. This could be the clip that she edits. <laughs> the ball is tipped, and there Sage is. You follow it in a duh, you're a shooting Sage. My computer's freezing. Give me a second, Billy. Yeah. Well, it's, it it's on top freezer. of the freezer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry to Marika, Amir, and me for losing March Madness. But if you're going to look me in the eye and say Sage didn't deserve that, then... I'm sorry, but the you're song. unfit to host. Host what? The Headgum Podcast. What okay. about who edits this? Uh, the Headgum Podcast. Grace Harper. I knew I was forgetting something. Someone. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, Grace. <laughs> Didn't want to put um, Grace in there. <laughs> uh, guys, we've made it to the final segment, which is um, Mood Diaries. Let's hear those entries. Let's start with Amir. I told you I wasn't writing anything down. I felt That's not my fault that your face is red now. <laughs> on the spot, the teacher called on you and you have nothing. <laughs> I have to take an L slash pass. I guess In- my mood when you chose pile over me was disappointed, offended, angry, scared, mad. All right, very good. Yeah. Two more? Two more moods? Or Three two to more six moments? entry points. Three to six mood diary entries. Uh, the camera angle... Reminds me of those dude, you're getting a Dell commercials. It's sort of like this, uh, like top down, <laughs> sort of yeah. like little boy parental POV. You're moving with your yeah. auntie and uncle to Bel Air style. Bel Air, yeah. Yeah. So 
Um, one more. One more. Uh, when the metal, the soundboard worked, it, it hurt my ears. So it's sort of like... Uh, Billy, oh, yeah. let's hear that mood diary. I hopefully you had more than three. Hopefully they were I, all prepared. I had four. Actually, I actually did have four. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Uh, it's it a mood, mood diary of a wimpy kid. So that's what. Very good. Yeah. Very good. Um, your best. Four forty one Eastern. I don't have to do this, Jeff. I don't have I'd to love to hear it. Out. I would love Thank to hear you. it. Um. 4.41 p.m. Eastern, Jeff said dealers slash Sophie's Choice, and it made me almost not like movies anymore. <laughs> Holy um, shit. I didn't know ten, I had that power. Ten minutes later, um, 4.51, Jeff admitted to not know who works at the office anymore. That's true. This isn't really a mood. I just said fire him. Um, <laughs> 4.58, just sort of Amir said that you have a rejector, not a projector that made me happy. <laughs> that is a mood. Not all maybe these that brought, maybe that brought movies back for you. Yeah, it did. <laughs> it brought, yeah, it absolutely did. And then um five thirteen March Madness ends. That took almost 20 minutes, is what I wrote. Call it a dense segment. Dense. I thought it was pretty. Thin, really stretched out. Thin but yeah. stretched out instead of dense but tight. Right. Yeah. Marika? Very flimsy for sure. Uh, when it took five minutes to explain the mood diary, I felt fatigued and frail. Mm. Um, being and you're not freezer, you're sure it wasn't just Zoom fatigue? You think it was? I'm sure, yeah. It was just it was, overall yeah. fatigue. Um, being in the freezer made me feel claustrophobic just, sorry, and feel like, also how, did wistful. Did you sleep bad last night? I'm trying to figure out if the fatigue was because of what I said. Yeah, like six like that. hours. That's not that many, so let's chalk it up to lack of sleep. Well, okay. Um, yeah, so being in the co- in the freezer made me feel claustrophobic and also kind of wistful. That was Amir's um, idea. Yeah, so he gets points for the wistfulness. Um, when we were only... On the third part of the bracket, I felt close to death and maligned. <laughs> um, and when I lost the bracket, I felt vacant, but also kind of chuffed. And then you throwing the lemon. Um, chuffed like you were, were chums? Me... We're having a gas, a gaff? Or you yeah. were aghast? Yeah, like having a gas, having a gaff. Okay. So you um, felt fine about second place. Right, right? but then you started throwing the you started throwing the lemon and it made me feel kind of perturbed and sour to be. I don't have back. like substitute teacher energy like Robin Williams in uh fucking no, Dead Poet Society because I'm just no, like, guys, this is what you need to know about the world. You. <laughs> He's not that tall. But they're like children. But they stand on the at the desk at the end and That's they say, Oh, Captain. They stand captain. on the shoulder of giants. The poets that came before them and then before them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Robin Williams great. starred in Dead Poets Society. Yeah, kind of I want you to have the well energy said. of Robin Robin Williams now. Um, <laughs> that's the one that I'd like you to, to carry on the rest of your day. Um, I just watched, speaking of Dead Poets Society, another movie by the same director, Witness. Have you guys seen that? No. No. Awesome. Really, really great. Cool movie. Uh, Harrison Ford plays a detective. And there's a little Amish boy who witnesses a murder of another detective. And then uh, it becomes this kind of awesome cop thriller where the Amish boy, like, I don't want to spoil anything, but basically like Harrison Ford has to sort of protect this Amish child. Uh, and they sort of teach each other about the different, uh, the, you know, different ways of life. And it's, it's good. It's really good. It's really awesome. Sounds like sort of a sixth sense style. Um, in the sense that there's like a boy and a detective, yeah, mm-hmm, detective. I've never seen The Sixth Sense because it was just spoiled to me, oh, um, or yeah. whatever the like. If it's a twist, or I just knew it, so I just never watched it. Right. Same. Have you seen Signs? I also know the end of Signs, and I haven't. Seen, I, I I do want to watch Signs anyways, though. Signs is good, yeah. Did you see Signs in the theaters, Amir, or was it more of recent? Do you think? I saw it at theater. So afterwards, this probably would have been around the same time that the song was popular. Did you kind of come out of the theater and go, I saw signs and it opened up my... Movie came out like eight years after the song. 
Why'd you stop? Keep going, Jeff, with the song. I already sang as much as I cared to. It was ill received. I asked why and you I don't stopped, think that's and on you me. just met me with silence. Well, the Zoom blipped out, and I th- all I heard was stop. <laughs> so I did. <laughs> And then I got chastised for that also. <laughs> Raked over the coals on a weekly basis, I am. <laughs> You're the little Amish boy. <laughs> <laughs> and I need to hire a private eye to detect why people hate what I come up with. Mm-hmm. 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 Is it that I don't come into the office more? Is that that I'm not as social as Shackle? It's no. <laughs> Is it that I'm staying nay, James? <laughs> staying nay, James? So it is that. <laughs> no, I can't understand what you're saying. <laughs> saying nay, James. <laughs> End this, obviously. Congrats to Sage. <laughs> was a HeadGum original.